Okay, let's turn on the old computer. There's the MIGBUG prompt. Gonna load the resident assembler now. So to do that I do load. Oops, I gotta do caps lock. It doesn't like uh, lowercase letters. Load. Now it's waiting for the file. So I'm gonna send the file. And I want the resident assembler. So now it's sending the file. And I'm going to pause because this takes about four minutes. It's almost done loading the resident assembler. Now the window is going to vanish, but it's still outputting uh, the download to the computer uh, from the transmit buffer. And when it's done, the uh, cursor should come back and the MICBUG prompt will uh, come. There it is. Okay, so the assemblers should be ready to go, and I can check that. The uh, register program counter is 0100, so it should go. There's the resident assembler program is now waiting for me to tell it to do the first pass. I'm going to do that, so I want to do the first pass. Now it's waiting for the program, but what I have to do for this to work, I have to change the delay per line to 500 milliseconds per line, or between lines, for the first pass, because I'm sure there are no errors to report, but I don't have a listing on this computer, so now We'll send the file, and the file I want to assemble is in the Utility Manager folder, and it's this one, UT Manager version 4. And notice that the binary uh, option is unchecked. That's real important for this to work. Okay, now it's uh, doing the first pass. And this takes about a minute or so. I don't know if you can hear the uh, tape reader control relay in the computer, but it's uh, clicking away over there as it reads one record at a time and processes it. Okay, it's almost done. Uh, the window will close first, but there will still be several uh, lines of code to transmit to the first pass of the assembler after this window closes. There, it did that, but it's still processing uh, data coming in from the transmit buffer. And if the symbol option works properly, we should see the first pass symbol table printed out. That's one thing about this resident assembler, it seems to be a little buggy with respect to the symbol table option. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. There it goes. This is the first pass symbol table. Okay. And should come up and we'll be ready for the second pass program listing. Okay, so we're ready to do the second pass listing. So that's 2L. I need to change the delay between lines to, I think two and a half seconds will be okay, but to be on the safe side, I like to do three seconds. So that's 3,000 milliseconds. So that's that. And now we send the file again. Uh, oh yeah, it's in this directory. There it is. UT Manager version 4 source program. 
and I'm going to move this over. And now you can see that the uh, second pass of the assembler uh, produces the uh, listing, the formatted uh, program listing with the assembled code. Right now it's going through my comment statements. I'm going to pause this and we'll resume when there's some uh, actual program uh, to look at. Okay, now it's going through a set of symbol definitions that I uh, put in. Uh, links to subroutines inside the MicBug control ROM that come in handy. This utility program allows me to move uh, data back and forth between the audio cassette tape and the console terminal. And with an add-on uh, that, that can be uh, downloaded separately, I'm able to move data back and forth to my teletype set. It's almost done. to set up the starting address and there were no assembly errors so we're ready to make the object tape so 2t and I'm going to shorten the time to 2000 milliseconds per, uh, between lines and send the file the third time and this will produce the object code. Move that out of the way. And this takes another several minutes. When it's processed enough lines of uh, source code to produce one line of object code, it then spits out that line. And that sound you hear in the background is my wife using the sewing machine. Well, it's almost done. Now, what the hell happened there? Hmm. I learned something interesting about the uh, assembler. I had to lengthen the delay between lines to three seconds because of some uh, string defi definitions that I put in the program. Uh, it turns out that a couple of the string definition lines result in two lines of tape output instead of just one. So I had to lengthen the delay between lines setting to allow for two lines of uh, output uh, of this uh, object tape. Now it should be almost done. And so I'm going to leave the camera running. That was the last of the main lines. And you'll see the error report says there were two errors. That happened in when I tried to do this a while ago and uh, I had not allowed enough time. But by just resetting the uh, time delay and rerunning this second pass object tape, it worked fine. So that's that. I'm going to exit the assembler. And the next step is to save uh, all of this output to a text file. So I'll do that now. I think I've got just enough time oh, to do that. Let's see here. thing to do is uh, I'm going to select. I'm going to save everything, including the bad passes. Here is the uh, second pass listing output. There's the first pass symbol table output. I think I'll stop right there. And now all I have to do to save it is I'm going to move this window over where you can see it. 
paste and there it all is. This is uh, Microsoft Notepad. I like it for uh, working uh, with my old computer. So I'll save this as UT Manager 4 dot LST save and I'm done and I to create an object a load file to send to the uh, old microcomputer to actually run this program I've edited the uh, text file that I saved uh, in the last clip to just the last uh, bit of uh, printout showing the object code and then down here Let's see, I'm going to move this up so you can see what I'm doing. Down here I've got to delete that. And also this part here. And no carriage return at the end. Just S9 and then leave the cursor there. And I'm going to save this as utmanager 4obj And... I'm done. Now this is ready to load to the microcomputer.